court has again adjourned Nandekano's case for trial. The judge faced a new date for the Nigeria government to begin calling its prosecution witnesses against the IPOB leader, Mr. Kano. The Federal High Court in Abuja on Monday adjourned the trial of Nande Kano, leader of the indigenous people of Biafra IPOB, until 19th of March 2024. This news, written by Amen, is the February 26th, 2024. Binta Nyako, the judge before whom Mr. Kano is being tried by the Nigerian government for terrorism, fixed the date for commencement of trial at the adjourned date. The prosecuting lawyer, Adeboyega Awomolo, promised to call at least two witnesses that day. Mr. Awomolo's appearance on Monday is an indication of the federal government's drastic shake-up of its prosecution team. It is the first time an external prosecutor will be leading the federal government's team since the case started in 2015. Mr. Kano's trial resumed on Monday following the Supreme Court judgment on 15th December 2023. The Supreme Court last December restored Mr. Kano's trial after setting aside the judgment of the Court of Appeal freeing the IPOB leader. Mr. Kano is standing trial for terrorism before Binta Inyako of the Federal High Court in Abuja. At the resumed proceedings on Monday, Mr. Kano's lawyer, a lawyer, Ejimako, argued a fresh application for his client bail. Mr. Ejimako hinged his client's bail request on provisions of the Nigerian constitution that provides that a defendant is entitled to adequate time and the resources to prepare for his defense. Also, the lawyer raised a plethora of issues hampering effective preparation of the IPOB leader for his defense. Mr. Ejimako declared the attitude of operatives of the State Security Service SSS, who he said often is drop on confidential conversation between Mr. Kano and his legal team. He raised concerns about Mr. Kano's deteriorating health condition, urging the judge to release the IPOB on bail. But the prosecuting lawyer, Mr. Awolowo, disagreed with Mr. Ejimako. Mr. Awolowo told the judge to dismiss Mr. Kano's bail application and the preliminary objection to the commencement of trial. He said the requests were irritated as they lacked legal basis. Mr. Awomolo, a senior advocate of Nigeria, brought on board by the new Attorney General of the Federation, Latif Fabemi, was the external prosecutor that secured the conviction of a former federal lawmaker, Farouk Lawan, over the 2012 fuel subsidy probes bribery. Mr. Lawan's conviction was finally affirmed by the Supreme Court in January. Now, the question the public have asked, what are the basis of holding Nandekano in custody up to this day? A case since 2015 till day, you know how many years. What is the substantial evidence of holding a man they called a terrorist? This is the question Nigerians are asking. Well, most people would say, not Nigerians, the Igbos. However, let us look at this in this way. Who will proudly say that everything is going on well in Nigeria? Looking at the prices of things today, the price hike, economic situation, living difficulty people face from day through day. This is why many people have said it is better that the Igbos go their part, the house owners go their part, Yorubas go their part. Whoever wants to go their part can go their part. Since the Nigeria is not working, I mean, this is what the public is saying. Since Nigeria is not working, because people complain from day to day, things are not easy now in Nigeria. Times are very hard. And each time the news we hear is court cases of who shouldn't be the problem Nigeria is facing. Nigeria on its own have to wake up and they face the problem it is facing, which more importantly is making sure that there is availability of jobs for the youths when people finish from the university to find something 
they are doing. When a country is productive and the people engage to work, believe me, bribery and the corruption will, will be less than 10% in a country. When people have what they are doing, we will not have the case of kidnappers. Or as bad a situation may have it, it will be less than 3%. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Your comment is very important. Whether holding Damaz in the can is just one solution to solve Nigeria problems. And the subscribe on the bottom right corner of this video. Turn on the bell icon so that whenever we drop a new video, you will receive it before others.